So today I'm going to be classifying a hundred light curves from the Xenoverse project Planet Hunters DES. Uh, this is right at the start of a new sector of data, which is sector 34. Uh, so it's a fresh start and it will give me the best possible chance to find a, a new distant exoplanet. This video is not a tutorial video and I have a, a series of such videos already made. So if you have no idea what you're looking at here, then I, I highly suggest you watch them first with a basic understanding of what's going on. And especially the third video, as that includes corrections for the other two. Uh, I have also done another hundred uh, classifications off screen prior to now, so I have a rough idea of what I'm likely to see for this sector. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's, let's begin. So uh, here we have your typical noisy light curve that you'd often see. Um, there's possibly a transit looking event. At, um, if we zoom back out. From afar, this looks like a possible transit from afar, but if we zoom right in, it's clearly just a, a mesh of the noise. So, press done. That's our first curve, uh, light curve done. This one. Um, Now uh, let's, let's zoom in first before marking them. Mm. Zoom back out. Is that a transit? Mm. Looks like there's some sort of pattern here at least, but let's check the details of the star first. So this is, yeah, F, uh, F type star territory. Um, but are those, are these transits though? Hmm. It's difficult to say really. They look like transits, but they're so embedded with the noise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark them. Uh, there might be one there, I think. But then and that doesn't line up with these. They're not the same uh, period. Mm. I'll keep those two marked there. And if there's anything of other, any ones that are obvious, then I'll mark them, but... It's difficult. I can't. Nah. I'm going to leave it like that. So, because I'm not really confident that these are transits, uh, I'm just going to keep those two there and uh, press done. Because I'm not going to make a comment about them. Looks like we've got our eclipsing binary here. Looks like there's, uh, if I zoom in right at the top, you have uh, really tiny secondary eclipses by the looks of it. Uh, would I mark, I don't know if I mark, I guess I'll mark the secondary eclipses. Why not? Because once you have a binary, you're advised to mark them. But those secondary eclipses are, are really small. Let's check the size of the star. 2.47 solar radii. Temperature is quite... Hmm. So this is probably a... An F type star, probably maybe a, a subgiant, maybe. We're going to check in a second. And they're all marked on. Let's press done and talk. Press an eclipsing binary. Uh, hashtag for an eclipsing binary. There we go. We've got exofop. Then we'll go to Simbad from Exofop. Simbad. See what we got. Ah, there's, there's not much detail about the star. Roughly, you can see what it looks like. It's white in color at the least. Let's check for two mass. Yeah, so it's a single star. Well, no, it's a binary star, but looks continuous from that.
So copy the name of it. So and then the link to Simbad. No, I have no other details that I had other than has the eclipsing binary and uh, the details of the Simbad link. So add the comment. There we go. Let's go back. Hmm. Um, could be here. Not sure about. I don't think that this one here is. So let's check uh, for this left one first. No, that's not a transit. Uh, what about the one over here? No, that's not convincing either. So, no transits here for this curve. Uh, we've got a more variable curve here. Um, these are too big to be planetary transit. Well, too long, I should say. Well, to be transits at all, really. Um, unless it's a really massive object. So, but I don't see anything abnormal I, I would classify as a transit no mm, nah, not not nothing that's outstanding at least to me just check here no 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 i'm not convinced just check the details of the star so we've got a, a B type star here because it's over 10,000 Kelvin and the radius, solar radius is representative of, of that. So, yeah. Um, let's check. Okay, so that was our fifth curve. Um, no, I don't think there's anything in this curve. Um, Okay, no. So, yeah, because there's, there's 21 solar radii, this is definitely anything that looks like a transit here is definitely not a planet because it's way too big. This is probably like an, an orange giant sort of type star. Uh, so, yeah, let's go into the next curve. Um... It's a noisy but slightly variable curve, I think. Only ever, only ever so slightly, though. Uh, yeah, this is not planetary. No, I'm not convinced there's anything here. Okay, so next one. Um, no, it's, yeah, too much. It's too much noise to differentiate. Uh, transits from the rest of the curve here. So, next one. Ooh, it's a bit variable-y. Uh, it's probably a bit glitchy, this curve, I think. Uh, the, the, this this here might be something. Maybe? Is it? Hmm... Oh, I don't know. Because the momentum dump for this sector is roughly around uh, day six or day 5.9 ish region. And there is it's just a little bit more further than that, but no, I don't think it's due to a momentum dump, but. Nah. No. Maybe markable, I suppose, but. It's one of those ones where you're just not really confident that it could be a planetary transit, so yeah, the rest of the curve's just glitchy, so just one last check. No. Uh just check the size of the star again. So it's a sun like star, but no, I'm not convinced. Anything here is probably properly a transit. Uh, next curve, this is, which is done now, uh, a 10th curve, so this is number 11. 
very noisy this curve, so let's move on. Again, same. <laughs> Again, same. I really hope I just, get, just don't get like a hundred noisy curves in a row. That will just be awful. Uh, it's more variable, this one, but let's uh, check the data. Mm. It's really hot, this star, for all its size. I'm interested in seeing that. So just, just to have a look at the... This could be an A... It's really, if it is an A-type star, that'd be really small for an A-type star, but... Was it sell next so far? Anything different? Ah, the mass of the sun's two. Yeah, so it's quite a dense. It's quite a dense star, this one. But yeah, you must must always keep in mind that it's the mass of the star that is the primary uh, measurement. Of course, we're working with the radius, so yeah. Anyway, back. Um, yeah, another noisy curve. Oh, what have we got over here? Uh, oh my god, look at the brightness scales. It's going a bit insane, this one. So let's have a look. I don't think there's any like any transits on this one properly, I don't think. But here, this looks like a a solar system object or an SSO, because it's, it's got like your your dip and then your like almost like a reverse transit. So it's an SSO at day twenty four twenty four point nine. Uh. SSO day 24.9. It's a very low magnitude star, so I'll be very surprised if there's anything concrete on this star. Oh, actually, this is a white dwarf. That makes a lot of sense due to the, the brightness um, scalings. So this will be 100% uh, below normal levels. This will be 200% a little below normal levels. So yeah, uh, white. This is a white. It's a white dwarf star. And yeah, and the link to. It's a very long. Um, designated name. Oh, it has an actual name down here, like a white dwarf designation. Uh. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, now, to prove it's a white dwarf to people going by, it'd be better to use this designation than this uh, very long one here. So, And then copy the link to Spad. And there we go. And let's go back. Ooh, uh, yeah, th this over here is sort of like systematic effect, I suppose. I don't think that's because of uh, an object uh, transiting. Um, rest of the curve, though, doesn't look like there's anything concrete. No, 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 let's go to the next curve. Um, this is more of a pulsator, I think. It's kind of an F-type star. Uh, yeah, because it's a pulsator, it's really... 
hard to really tell if there is a transit here. So, no, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't think there is one here. Uh, another noisy curve here, uh, but I don't think they're. Uh, I was thinking this one here, but no, too much noise. There's just so much noise. There's so much noise everywhere. Sun like star here. Um, but again, is this the same? Problem. Let me let's have a look up here. Right towards the edge of the curve, almost. Nope. Nope. Oh, please don't let me down, Planet Hunters. I just want. <laughs> please have something other than just one eclipsing binary that is concrete for transits. So let's have a look. That's noisy. This one's noisy. Yep, too much. No. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> nope. 